Hey, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. Um, the This is an entropic line killer problem submitted by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards, who go by the name Missing Deck for the Sudoku problem series. Thank you for submitting all the problems that you do. I will get to them in time, I promise. Um, so the way this one works is the goal is to figure out the digits that need to go into the killer cages. Um, so along entropic lines, which is the, the first rule in this one, um, any set of three cells along an, an entropic line must contain one low digit from one to three, one middle digit from four to six, and one high digit from seven to nine. Um, uh, and that works for any three cells that you grab along a beige line. And killer cages, of course, um, cannot contain repeat digits, and the um, digits in the um, cage must sum to the number in the top left corner of the cage. So uh, I'm going to let you, there is a link to this grid below. I'm going to let you give this one a try on that. Um, I'm going to wait for a few seconds um, so you can pause the video and then you. I will try and explain how this one works. Okay, so um, these two cages are basically the same problem. Um, but they're kind of twisted so that um, you could solve them independently in this grid, but it is worth taking a look at how they work. So this 14 cage. So what you know about a 14 cage is it is quite a low total um, and you cannot um, do this if there were two middle digits in this, because if you were to put a four or five in this, you've already hit nine um, and you once you include a high digit, then a seven, you've already broken the total. So you cannot um, put two middle digits or two high digits in this. And because of the way the line works, this digit must be the same as this digit. Because if I was to I would use coloring, um, if this was to be a yellow digit, and then I make this a green digit, and I, then I make this a blue digit, then this digit here, um, this is a run of three colors, yellow, green, and blue. But along this line, I also need a run of the same three colors, yellow, green, and blue. It doesn't matter for the explanation purposes which one is which. But I don't have a yellow in this run of three digits, so this becomes yellow. And along a line that this where each set of three has to be from a single set, every third digit must be the same type. So these two digits will be the same type. Now, because of that, um, and I, the fact that I cannot repeat uh, even a medium digit or a high digit, these two here must be the low digits. Now, once I've got two low digits, I still need to include a medium and a high digit. But the lowest medium and high digit I can put onto the line are four and seven. And if I add four and seven together, I get 11. So, and, um, and let's say I put those in, if I put in four and seven, that only leaves three left, which are the two lowest low digits. So this must be one, two, four, seven. The four here makes this seven, which makes this four, and the two here makes this one, which makes this two. Now we can use the 26 cage. Well, if I double up the say even a medium digit and may use the highest possible because this is a high number and use six and five i've got to 11. once i include the highest low digit i can which is a three i've got to 14 and then the remaining digit would need to be a 12 which doesn't work so i must include two high digits so these become seven eight nine but that means i need to include a low and a middle digit but I need to get to a high number. So what's the highest low number I can include? Three. What's the highest middle digit I can? Six. So three and six sums to nine. What's left over then? Well, if I include three, six, I still need to get 17 more, which is the highest two um, high digits I can use. I still need to use an eight and a nine to hit the total. So this is forced to be three, six, eight, nine. This three makes this the six, which makes this the three. This eight makes this the nine, which makes this the eight. And that is the solution to this particular problem. It's all about the fact that within those entropic lines, the fact that you are forced either to have a low, a middle, or a high on the lines or, um, in those bands, you can't just your, your um, options are much more limited by the fact that even though you're after a high total in this cage, you must use at least one low digit and you must use at least one medium digit. So all of your options are forced down. There's probably other ways that people will visualize this, but this is the way I visualize it. Um, and that's the way I can explain it. Um, hope you're enjoying the series. Hope it's helping you with your Sudoku solving. Um, and as always, good luck with your solving.